threatened me with bedlam. Help me keep my daughter safe and I will give you anything you ask for. Your uncle is a monstrous incubus. It is him I protect you from. Maybe from our sister. She's overindulged. A girl still lives who could name you as her attacker. <laughs> He's a girl at Quigley's. Turn her loose. She'll tell a tale to the law. You are unburdened of this office with immediate effect. The Lord Justice was going to spare your mother, but I implored him not to. You will go to the jail immediately and hang Margaret Wells. <gasps> Get her down, man! <gasps> Tomorrow, you set sail for America. No, there is no hope for me without my family! No one see it. I am no longer a servant of the law. I must leave this house and seek new employment. So, with regret, I cannot marry. I see. My situation is too precarious. Please be honest. You've discovered my mother's past and balk at the daughter of a harlot. It is not a matter of my feelings. You've made your feelings very clear. Forgive me if I keep mine to myself. Sorry for what's happened. from Margaret's body so we can bury her. You'll not find it at the magistrates. And where? The bodies of all murderers are sent to the surgeon's hall. Must you abuse a body, even when she's dead? Please take your grievance to my successor. I am no longer a justice. You've always been my guiding example, like a brother. You'll vouch for me with the others, won't you? I want to help you, but the Puritan you stabbed may wake and point her righteous finger. I have an alibi. I'm your mistress and a paid board. You must be nipped, little brother. Oh, she's under the magistrate's roof. Do it swiftly. The hanging was carried out behind closed doors, prompting accusations of corruption. Wells was an infamous board and rabble-rouser, and citizens have been robbed of their right to witness her public execution. Margaret Wells. <laughs> I feel as if I've lost a friend. Mm. 
It's the Kippers. The Marquis of Blaine is here. <laughs> Am I not like the Queen of Spain with my living miniature? No. Your intelligence was too late. The child had already been lifted from her orphan school by a black sent by my sister. That same flaunting scoundrel who bid for my virgin. I want the child found before my crazed sister poisons it against me. Then, lend me a man. I know where this upstart black resides. I kneel at your altar, high priestess. Mm. My first burnt offering will be Charlotte Wells. It's usually done for me. I was once a servant for a fine family. What made you leave? The son kept attacking me. Got with child, so they threw me out. So now I'm getting paid for it. What happened to your child? Dead. Jam there, if you want some. Body. I'll not have you harrowed by that sight. What have you? Let me do it alone. Hmm? Does Miss Scanwell? Can you see for yourself? <laughs> Miss Wells. Miss Scanwell. What was done to you? It's terrible. I'm not in so much pain now. Did you see who did it? He. He was a gentleman. White wigged. What was he wearing? A dark green cloak and a velvet jacket. Lord Valor. Your keeper. I must tell my mother. I need my mother. Do you not know? Child, your mother was imprisoned for the murder that she did. She did no murder. She confessed to it. They hanged her yesterday. Keep her here. Make her Lucy. sit. Lucy! Disputes, but 
Mrs. Wells took me in when I had nothing. Must get a body from the surgeon's hall. Let me come with you. I'm not fit for company. You cannot go alone on such an errand. You once did me the greatest service. I'm coming with you now. You will smile and be pleasant. I shall tell Mrs. Quigley. I once spent weeks locked in a room here. Charlotte Wells has sent me to get you out. Be ready. We'll go when it's dark. It's a fortunate day for you, Abigail. This is Sir Henry Phipps. You've played your hand well, convincing Charles that that brat is his. I wish I'd thought of that when he was topping me. drinking to quell your guilt. You hanged the wrong person. My mother didn't kill Sir George Howard. I no longer work for court, nor He was trying to force me. I picked up the knife. Your mother confessed because your keeper knew your guilt and held it over her. So keep your secrets, Lucy Wells. And I'll keep mine. Lord Fallon. He stabbed Miss Gangwell. How will I ever prove it so when you gave him an alibi? busy. Then let me give you a task. Only money will free us from my brother. I need the law's help to secure my inheritance. Come with me. Charlotte, I'm sorry for your loss, but you promised your help. I can't stay here. It's not fit for Sophia. You've got your child, and you're free of Lydia quickly. My sister is in the sway of a dangerous man. Forgive me, but your money has to wait. Charlotte. 
Where's Lucy? There's no sign of her. We just caught Lord Fallon trying to smother Amelia. We tied him up. Where's the justice? Ex-justice. In the tavern, drowning his sorrows. Then the law is ours to enforce. I'll make sure he doesn't come back. Done to him what the Old Testament teaches. He was stifling my invalid child. And he plead. And how? Like a wet boy. You who told me killing is an art. My mother is dead because of how you used me. I didn't mean to use you. What I feel for you is true. Lala! He's one of the beasts who was coming for Emily Lacey. And for me. Kitty. You killed Kitty Carter. No. No, I did not. Stop her, please. Make him squeal, Lucy. It was Liddington. Did he hold her head while you sliced? Killed him. Not yet. We want them all. Liddington and who? I saw you were quickly, and the markers are blind. Do you think I fear hanging? Go fetch your justice and his lump of men. Let them do their worst. I don't think you understand. We are your judge and jury. Tell us what you know, or I'll release this avenging angel. You stab your fucking heart! Quigley brings us girls to spoil. What of Blaine? Is he your king? <laughs> Go out and let's say. It's Blaine! Blaine. <laughs> Do you think I'd stay but slow as you? My mother died. Save my soul. I'd never tarnish it with you. Eddington, quickly. Blaine. We have him. One more time. Where is she? I don't know a single schoolgirl in this whole corrupted town. Oh, I'm a fool. <laughs> He's the wrong black, of course. Come. Come for Margaret Wells. Who? Margaret Wells. She's my, um... She's 
She was hanged yesterday. We've come for her remains. None of the deceased felons bears that name. Where is she? Where all the guilty must go when they die. Look to the borough's dead house and be gone. was for seven years. Remorse takes to time. Do you not see? The only proper way to reform my life is to pay me. I'll make you my eyes and ears in places such as this. Well, if I was still a justice, I would. You give up too easily. this one. When he bites, I have to kick him. <laughs> they told you dead, Virginia! Oh, you're the barge, dear. <gasps> Sophia, thank God you're safe. Your uncle has been worried to death. She is made of lies. Just no. come with me without delay. Do not listen to a word she says. Well, that cannot help her actions, but consider this. What sane woman would bring her child to a low brothel run by the flunkies of a murderess? This place has been our sanctuary. She's hidden you away when you could have had a family. Your uncle is longing to know you. My uncle is a bad man. He's a monster. Is that what she told you? He has been breaking his heart since he learned of your existence. He wants to make you no. his heir. No, no, no. Do not listen to her. Why did you forsake me and leave me in that school? You have been in my heart every waking hour. You have abused your brother and your child. Come with me. Let me take you home. Sophia, this is a vile ambush! Sophia! She told you that a murder and true! Sophia! Imagine your tongue circling the rosy sunrise of her nipples. Imagine my tongue where you please. There's nowhere like Golden Square. I didn't know how homesick I was. Charles, your mother's stolen a girl again. She's assured me that she's changed her ways. The pro shop stairs being raped. This is the same diabolical fuckery you rescued me from. Get the keys from Anne. We can't just let her go. What if she runs to the law and has my mother hanged? Well, maybe she has it coming. Not from my hand. I'll confront my mother when she gets back. Oh, we know how that'll go, don't we? It's you and me, then. If we're caught, she'll string us both up like a pair of Christmas geese. <sighs> you can die alone, or with your rapine friends. Signed confession. The law might be kind. He needs a day or two to think on what he's done. You're a killer. Same as me. Where's your confession? I didn't think anything would make me smile today. But that's such a pretty sight. Come on. Quickly came while you were out. They've taken the lady's daughter. I'm so sorry. You left me when I needed your help. I'm here now. When news up, bring your daughter back. We must go at once to my brothers. Lords Fallon, Liddington, and a pack of title brutes have been raping and killing girls. They killed Kitty Carter. I have it from Fallon's own mouth. 
Nancy Birch has him tied at her house in Angel Court. And he's signing a confession saying that Quigley is their procuress. Your brother is their master. No. That's true. Not even dogs can dismiss such evidence. Then my brother's disgrace will be absolute. Yes. He'll fall. And your daughter will be safe. I must go home. She's in great and immediate danger. Perhaps you haven't understood. You're safe. I understand you very well. You've taught me to fend for myself. Now you'll see how well I do. Where's she going? On her own path. Lord Fallon safely trust. Bit of time, he'll soon confess. Are you bearing it, Spra? Still swimming. Poor Lucy. Come on. We'll sit. Grief comes in great gusts to blow you down. If things men do. Shh, breathe, my love. I'm empty, Nance. There's no heart in it. Not for man or woman. Nothing but a stone. You have so much heart. The weight. Your ma found her love. So would you and Lucy. Did she you find yours? I loved your ma, you silly cunt. what your mother was keeping you from. Your birthright. You must be she. How do you do, Uncle? Existence and now here you are. Where did Mrs. Quigley find you? Her mother had taken her to the Wells brothel. Good God, she could have ruined you. But here she is, safe and sound. Well, <laughs> first you must try some of these delicious fancies, and <laughs> you will forgive me for one moment. soon see my gratitude. Ah. Uh, I have a request about Charlotte. Don't throw her on a bonfire. Not yet. You want her spared? She's suffering. I like her alive when she suffers.
And did your mother ever make mention of your father? <clears throat> she said that his name is a secret that she'll take to the grave. She seems so calm and rational. Yes. That is a mask that has been slipping for some time. He'll try in every way to undermine me. He's taken my strength since I was younger than you. Calm yourself, hmm? Let me help you. You can't help anyone, Harcourt. Lord Fallon has betrayed you. What nonsense is this? He was caught trying to murder his witness by angry, vengeful women. He spewed out your name in return for his life. Hmm. Is he arrested? Worse. The women have him. And they won't give him up until he signs a full confession. Sophia, let's go into the house. Stay. Learn for yourself what kind of man this is. Fallon's named you leader of a brotherhood whose charming business is slaying and despoiling girls. This is a monstrous fantasy. I know where they're holding him. Sign over my fortune and full keeping of my child and I might tell you. Where is Fallon? I want our house in St. James's, where you'll never come near us. And your signed assurance that no harm will ever come to Charlotte Wells. Very well. If I hated you, I'd let you fall. But I cannot, because you are my brother. God damn you. Second time in a week she's had me beaten. We don't get paid enough for this. There was a bad look in her eyes, Charles. She was thrilled to cause me pain. Why would she do it in my house? Can I just ask what you're doing for the £50 a week that we're earning on our backs? I need your keys, Anne. Take your hobgoblin and get out of my way. You're such a lofty bitch, aren't you? You'd fire a blunderbuss on your own mother if Mrs Quigley told you to. I would. I hate my mother. I shall tell Charles. You do that. I see what this is. You made up this vile tale to try and swindle me. Fifty pounds is the swindle. You're lucky to be earning anything at all. Charles. You'd rather we were slaves. No, be calm. Slaves wouldn't answer back. And I'm getting sick of your lip. <laughs> Are you flabbermouth? Charles. If you don't want to pay, go back to the gutter. I'd rather be there than give my earnings to a half-wit. Impudent drag! You're so dim. You don't even know Emily Lacey's shoving a cushion up her stays. Charles, she's letting your mother's property escape. What's this? She's going, Charles. It's the right thing. Oh, I mean, what's this? What do you mean? What are you doing? Charlie, get off! Go. Well, you still can. Go. You lie about everything. You're worse than my mother. Did you tell him? It came out. I was angry. Oh, thank you very fucking much now. Do you think I'm an utter fool? Get out. All of you, go on with her. You have one day to clear your things out of my house. It's not your house. It's mine. Do you think my mother would be stupid enough to put the deeds in your name? The house has always been mine. If you could read, you'd know that. Charlie, you're speaking in a temper. Out! You let women do this to you. <laughs> They'll pay. They'll pay.
how could Emily say she loves me and then do something so deceitful? I've not spent much time around you, Mother. But I've seen enough to scare me. Emily must have been desperate to tell a lie like that. Well, he didn't escape on his own, I'll tell you that. I do, Fitz. She told Blaine. <laughs> Did no one ever tell you blood's thicker than water? Oh, I feel cursed, Nance. Mm. The wealthy stick together like pig's cheeks in molasses. <sighs> Where in this cock city is there many lacy? If that stolen girl from Golden Square speaks, we can still get Blaine and Quigley to the law. Her baby was pure February. <laughs> Hallelujah. A lifetime of whoring has left her barren as a jam jar. <laughs> and we are on our way up and up. My poor darling. Thank God Emily Lacey is out of your life. What about this Abigail girl? Have you abducted her? Of course not. I gave you my promise I would never do anything like that ever again. Well, that's what I thought. Mm. So when Emily let her go, I didn't stop her. You've been led around by your fuckstress like a donkey on a rope. How dare you let her free my property? So you did abduct her! Charles! Charles, I have the Marquis of Blaine eating walnuts from my hand. How can you put all this at risk? I haven't, if you're speaking true. I couldn't stop them. Charlotte Wells and her tripe dog, what do you want? A gibbet. Your carcass swinging in the wind. Mrs. May and I had a joke about you. We used to say the midwife had thrown away the baby and kept the afterbirth. You were so unsightly, fit only for rough usage. Anne. Fetch Abigail Warren. <laughs> Charles, you are brilliant after all. There is no such girl in this house. She took a chance and ran off. Where's Emily Lacey? My son has booted her into a ditch. Shut up! Charles! It was your mother who ensured that mine kissed the rope. Is that true? I asked her to heal our rift, but she refused. She had been offered clemency. And you rode the Lord Chief Justice to a rushed, degraded hanging. Even now, I'm acting to protect you. There are powerful men who want you dead, but I said no, spare her. I cherish her in spite of everything. You are unbelievable. Charles, leave me alone. Get the keys. I hide me, you ridiculous boy. I your own medicine. Yeah, oh. you... Mm. And get blamed. Get blamed! Say the word Spartan and he will come. She enables rape and sanctions murder. You know this. She is my mother. I can't hang her, no matter what she's done. I won't ask you to. But there is a way to curb her. I should have strangled you, you useless, brainless, misshapen toe! What is it? Harlan Wells, I saved your life! Spoken anger. Please, Charles. I, you know I need you. I need you by my side. You're my, you're my lovely boy. Please. Let me out! Is it really so 
Aries. One male relative is all it takes. I do freely confess and to the murders of Justice Cunliffe, the harlot Miss Carter, and to the wounding of Miss Scanwell. I did these acts alone, spurred only by my baleful nature. Damned by God and my fellow man, I see no other path but to take my own life. as I live. Margaret to a butcher's slab, please. Give me her body. Tell me where she is. I cannot. Give her me Margaret Wells. For a lady to rest. You cannot. Oh, oh. You cannot bury her, because she is not dead. I spared her. I paid the hangman. Missy's still not in the ground. Thank you. 
We're tavern whores. sent me. She's in urgent need of your assistance. I don't give a damn about Mrs. Quigley. But you're a delectable distraction. She said the word Spartan would make you come. Why don't you make me come? I'd like nothing better. Mm. 30 guineas? Amelia. Amelia. I've been a prig. We'll find rooms. We'll set up on our own. You with us, Harriet? Oh, what's the house, anyway? It's the people. when I see her. I knew Ma was too good for the noose. She can never come back, can she? Returning carries a sentence of death, so she's alive. But she's lost to us. She works on trick to find us. She's Margaret Wells. <laughs> You'll be paid for your pains. Please. Please. Just tell him you know that his sister is mother to a most unnatural bastard. There is incest between them. My sermon for today is in praise of God's justice. For he moves in strange and beautiful ways. Uh. 